Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review then. Today we've got the latest release from Time and Tide and it's a can of their Captain Hold My Hot Sauce. So it's an IPA then coming in at 6.2% ABV, brewed with Sabro and Amarillo hops. Um, it's their mouth-watering progressive range of unique IPAs. Um, so malts in this then are Maris, Otter, Pilsner, Oats, malted wheat and flaked wheat and the yeast is London Ale Free. 35 IBUs then. Um, it's actually saying 6.2 on untapped and I've just seen here and you can see it right at the front of the can it's 6.7 so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but anyway 440ml can best before the 30th of November of 2021. Uh, check out the artwork again there and as you can clearly see the ABV of 6.7. There we go. Let's let's crack this one open then. Um, I purchased this one at Moonshine Billy's in Ramsgate. Um, they always seem to get all the latest releases, which is a 10 minute walk from me, which is really handy. Um, anyway, beer in a glass. I've still got um, their Imperial Stout to review, the Sooty Foot. I've still got that um, tucked away. So eventually I will get round to that. So beer in a glass. It's um, yeah, a nice orangey in colour. Didn't really pour much of a head there. Half a finger if that of a, of a white head. Um, medium haze. Um, yeah, it looks the part. So Sabro and Amarillo. So old school meets old school meets new school. In, in that kind of department, so this would be intriguing. So let's get an aroma. What else does they say is in this? Uh, water, malted barley, uh, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. Definitely a spicy kind of note there. Kind of trying to put my finger on it. There is a spiciness to it. I know it says my hot sauce, but it reminds me of some of the IPAs I used to have years ago. I'm intrigued. I'm not. It's it's a very odd aroma. I need to taste it, and then we'll get into it anyway. So, cheers. Wow, it's really smooth. Nice um, kind of apricot citrus type notes going in there. Wow, that's really kind of almost unique. Whether it's the hot varieties playing off each other that are creating this flavour. But it's really light. 6.7% is not detectable. It's a, like almost like a low end of a medium body, which for the ABV is really impressive. Um, let's put the rest of this in here. Wow. So what are we getting then? There is that. There is that kind of. Um, it's not quite creamy mouthfeel, but it's got almost like um, there is a coconut edge to it that I'm getting. It's it's not full on. It's not the predominant flavour, but I think it's just helping the the overall mouthfeel a little bit. Perhaps it's the Sabro. Perhaps it's not. I don't know. I've noticed that Sabro does vary quite a bit from beer to beer with with that hot variety in it. I'm getting lots of um, yeah apricots, a little bit of pineapple, dried pineapple, 
um, passion fruit, what's that, almost like a passion fruit jelly. There is a there is a distinctive flavour that is just underlying the, the you know what you're you're picking up obviously, and it, that is really lingering, and that's the probably one of the residual flavours on the palate. Really, really interesting. It does tell you a lot more information about that on the can. And there's 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 very lim limited information on Untapped. Um, And I think the yeast is probably playing its role as well. This London Ale Free yeast. That combined with the two hot varietals that they're using for this beer. But there is a slight kind of spiciness going on in there. It's not crazy, it's not it's not hot, it's not maybe it's herbaceous, perhaps that's the word. A little bit kind of herbaceous, a little bit of a white pepper edge, no more than that. Definitely getting a, a, a nice kind of uh, apricot, melon, uh, honeydew melon notes. That's, that's a, but apart from that, it's, it's a beautiful beer. Um, unique, it's very unique. Um, does it say it on there? Does, oh yeah, it does say unique. It's, and it's it's the right wording, it's very unique. Trying to work it out in your mind, you know, sometimes when you're trying to you're trying to pick out flavours in, in some of these beers. You get one or two, you think what am I actually tasting here? I mean I know it, it's it, it says my hot sauce and he's got a bottle of hot sauce, but there is something in this, and I don't know what it is. Maybe if anyone knows, they could let let me know down in the comments down below. It'd be quite interesting, but it doesn't really come across anything like that on, on the actual can itself. So I'm, I'm really intrigued that what that is. There, there's definitely something in this that is not mentioned on the can or on the commercial description, at least on Untapped. I don't. I haven't been on the website, so I can't really uh, can't really say anything else. But um, but what I am getting is very nice, and I, I like these IPAs that are slightly different from the the kind of same samey across the board um, kind of, especially the hazies, of course. Um, I mean, this is classed as an American IPA. Um, as I said, it's 35, 35 IBU, so very low in that department. The original gravity is seventy, FG nineteen, ECB nine. Uh, dry hop 22 uh, 22g stroke L so but yeah very enjoyable just it'd be nice to find out a little bit more information about the beer to be honest I'm intrigued so that's Captain Hold My Hop Sauce Hop I keep saying hop hot it took me about three takes to actually start the review that but I keep saying hop sauce but yeah, my hot sauce, get it right. Um, let me know if you've had this one before. It's one of the newer releases from Time and Tide down in uh, Deal in East Kent. Uh, my neck of the woods. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff. So thanks for watching then. Check out my playlist for the brewery down below as well as their uh, plethora of information about the brewery. For all there, down there for your perusal. Uh, you'll take care, keep safe, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.